Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that we received. In the translation, it reads like this. Hello, how are you? Can you please post my own story? Is anonymous. My name is Dame Hayden, and I never thought that I would end up in a situation like this. But my story, it goes on like this. I'm a 26-year-old South African woman from Johannesburg. And like many other girls, I have always wanted to live a good life. We all want a life whereby you do not even worry about where the money is going to come from. And as a woman, the only place where you can find this money is if you start to date at least someone who has enough money. That is why I chose to date a man who can take care of me to ignore the local guys. Ever since I had been impregnated by my baby daddy, I saw that the man, he was weak, he was not a hustler. Then I chose to date a foreign guy. I grew up in Soweto and in our family, money was never there. Things were really hard. My parents, they were struggling almost on a daily basis. And this made me to hate poverty with all of my heart. I told myself that I would never live in that way, no matter what it took. And the way that my mom was beautiful, why the hell did she choose to get married to my father? Because she deserved to get married to a man who was very wealthy and rich, to live the soft life. If my mom had made proper decisions, while she was still young, maybe I could not have been in this situation that I am right now. So because of my mom's mistake of getting married to a broke man my dad that is how i ended up in the blesser lifestyle for those who do not know like these blessers usually they are older wealthier men who bless women like me with money gifts and access to a life that we can never afford on our own hence the term blesser in exchange we give them your companionship and sometimes even more I know that there are people that might judge girls like me, but we do know what we want in life. Until you have been in a position where your choices are limited, you will never understand. For me, this was not just about wanting luxury. It was about survival, surviving. I met this guy whom I'll call Blessing at this other club in Santon. He was a man from Zim, a businessman, sharp-dressed and charming in a nice way the moment that we spoke even though i had my reservations of not dating foreign guys but the moment that he spoke with me i knew that this was the man that i had been waiting for all of my life like he did not even have to try with the way that he spoke with me from the word go i knew that i was going to give it to him and when he approached me I knew that I had hit the jackpot. From the start, he was very generous. Within days of meeting him, he bought me an iPhone and transferred 10K into my account. And he said, just because he told me that he wanted to take care of me and he liked me with the way that I was beautiful. I felt like I was living in a dream. It was a man who was willing to give me the life that I had always wanted without even asking. So... Blessing as his own conditions. He wanted me to be his, never to give it to any other man. He made it clear that he did not believe in using condoms. I need to feel you, Zintle. So he said, he said this with a smirk and a smile that I can still picture in my mind. At first, I was hesitant. I know the risks that are involved when it comes to unprotected sex, STDs, pregnancy. But the money that he was offering me was too good to turn down. He promised me a car if I stayed loyal to him. And that promise was enough to convince me. He was like, why are you scared to give it to me without condoms? Because you are only going to be giving it to me. And I will be giving it to you only. No need for that. The first time that we slept together, something fell off. It's so hard to explain but the atmosphere changed as soon as we were alone and his touch the way that he was touching me like he was no longer in that mood that he was when we were driving to the place where we were going to spend the weekend the guy was cold even physically the moments the moment that he started touching me 
It was as if he was no longer a human being at all. He waited until it was in the evening and something happened that I will never forget. As I looked down at him during the act, I saw something that made my blood to run cold. It was brief, but it was real. A snake. I saw a small snake that was coiled around his manhood. Yes, this snake was yeezing as it was licking my private part. I froze. I thought that I was hallucinating since we had drank some alcohol, but I blinked and it was gone. I did not say anything because I did not want to sound crazy, but I could not shake the feeling that something was very, very, very wrong. A few days later, the nightmare began. I woke up feeling nauseous. I wanted to vomit, thinking that I had food poisoning. I went to the bathroom. I vomited instead of food or any other thing. What came out to my surprise was a 20 rand knot. I vomited a 20 rand knot, people of God. At first, I was shocked, but also confused. Who vomits money? I thought maybe it is some kind of a blessing, a sign that my life was finally turning around. But the vomiting did not stop there. Each and every day, I am vomiting these 20 rent knots. Every day, I wake up and I vomit a 20 rent knot. The first few times, I thought that it was funny. I even showed one of my friends and she was like, you are lying to me, Chomi. But soon... I can realize that it was not funny anymore. The vomiting has become painful. Each and every time, I feel like something is being ripped out of me. My body sometimes gets so weak. I can lose weight within a day. I'll be so thin like I'm really sick. When I even look in the mirror, I can't recognize myself anymore. This money is like a curse. No matter how much I try to ignore it, I don't know what is happening to me. So ever since I showed this money to my friend, now what happens is that I can vomit the money immediately when I try to pick it up. It then just vanishes just like that. It sinks deep into the towels as if there is a hand that gets out of the towels to grab this money. I tried to talk to Blessing about it. He said that you are overthinking. I think you are having too much to drink. He even said that without even being emotional and his responses they have made me to become really really suspicious of this guy he has since tried avoiding me as for money no to tell you the truth blessing still gives me money on a monthly basis i still get my monthly girlfriend allowances for that i'm so thankful because i am able to help myself to help my family because they really need this without this money i really do not know where we will be right now i have had dreams where i saw blessings sitting in a dark room surrounded by candles and some animal skins and a snake coiled around his body and he starts to make love to that snake then the snake vomits money but when i wake up when i wake up then i see that the snake will be me then I feel like I wanted to vomit. Then I would vomit that 20 rent. I went to this other Sangoma who has since told me to bring my blesser blessing, but he refused to go with me to a Sangoma, even to church. He said that we can go to the white garment prophet, but I'm scared that maybe if I go there with him, some bad stuff is going to happen to me. Please help me because I am really sick and I don't know what to do.